Yo, 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 yo. Hey, everybody. Here we go. We're going to work on 6.2 describing functions. So, first, really what we're going to be doing is some of this is going to be review, but we're going to describe if a function is linear or if it's not linear. Okay? So, linear means it makes a line, and we also know we can write it in the form of y equals mx plus b. Okay? So, Let's just get right to it. So the temperature at dawn was eight degrees and increased steadily two degrees every hour. Here's our equation, two degrees every hour, or like two degrees per hour, but we started here. So there's my y-intercept. We want to state whether the relationship is proportional or non-proportional. We want to graph it. And we also want to determine is it linear or nonlinear. So right away by looking at the equation, we should be able to tell if it's proportional or non-proportional, and it's not because of the plus eight. That automatically tells us that it's not proportional. If this wasn't there, if it looked like this, is y equals 2x, now it's proportional. But because we have the plus 8, it's not proportional. But the big thing is, is what I want you guys to be doing is I really want us to be practicing making an xy table, plotting our points, and then graphing it. So we know that the slope is 2, the y-intercept is 8. So let's pick values for x in order to plot these points on a graph. So if I pick values for x, let's just start with 0. And then we'll go 2 and 4. Okay. The reason why I'm counting by 2s is because this graph is counting by 2s. So whenever I'm making an xy table and I have an equation for that relationship, this equation, this is the rule of this relationship. So that means I can plug in x values these values into this equation. So I can rewrite the equation with x substituted in here. And I can do it for all of the equations. This is 2 times whatever x is. Well, if I chose x to be 2, that's 2 times 2. 2 times whatever x is. Well, if x is 4, that's 2 times 4. And then I always have to add 8 at the end. So when I solve this, this is 0. So like now I actually have to do some math here. Well, 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 8 is 8. So my y is 8. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 8 is 12. So my y is 12. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 8. My y is 16. So what I'm doing is I, just, I picked x values. Sometimes you'll be given x values, and sometimes you won't be. I picked my own x values. We picked 0, 2, and 4 because this graph counts by twos, so that makes it a lot easier to use even numbers. And then when I pick those x values, I'm plugging them in for x in my equation. Then once I plug them in, I actually have to solve. I do my multiplication first, and then I add. Multiplication first, add. Multiplication first, add. And this is what I get. This makes x, y ordered pairs. So this is the ordered pair of 0, 8. This is the ordered pair of 2, 12. And this is the ordered pair of 4, 16. The reason why, when x is 4, y is 16. x is 2, y is 12. x is 0, y is 8. So this is a function. This is the rule of that function. So now I want to plot these ordered pairs on the graph. So when x is 0, y is 8. Remember, x is this way, y is this way. So when x is 0, so this is my x is 0, my y is 8, which is right here. So this is counting by 2, 2, 4, 6, 8. Now when x is 2, my y is 12. So here's x is 2. So this is positive 2, and it's counting by 2s. My y is 12. And then when x is 4, my y is 16. That's going to be off the graph. Well, that's going to be right here. That's 12, 14, 16. There are my ordered pairs. So this is a linear function because it is a function that makes a straight line. And we know it's also linear because it's in the format of y equals mx plus b. It is not proportional because it's not a straight line that goes to the origin. OK. So for this one, we are going to do the same process. Now I have an equation that's y equals x squared. So y equals x squared is my equation. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick x values. Substitute in. 
and then we are going to solve the equation and figure out what we get. Okay, and make see if it's a linear function or not. Okay, and if it's proportional. So let's use the same value since the graph still counts by two. So let's use zero, two, and four. So again, I'm plugging these into my equation. So x squared is just a zero squared. That's zero times itself. Two squared, that's two times itself. And then four squared, that's four times itself. Well, zero squared is zero. So that's going to give me the point of zero, zero. And zero times zero is just zero. Two times two, two times itself is four. So when x is two, my y was four. And then when x is 4, 4 times itself, so that's 4 squared. Remember, the squared means you're multiplying it by itself. So 4 times 4 is 16. So that's going to give me the point for 16. So now I can plot these points on a graph. So I have 0, 0. When x is 2, y is 4. And then when x is 4, y is 6, and that's up here off the graph. If I connect these... This does not make a straight line. It's curving up. It's not a straight line. Because it's not a straight line, it is not linear. It's a curve. So it's not linear. And if it's not linear, it's automatically not proportional. It's still a function because each x has exactly one y, and this is the rule of that function. So it's still a function, it's just not a linear function because it doesn't make a straight line. It makes a curved line. Okay, so try this one on your own. This one's 0.5x. If you need to use a calculator when you're working on it, use a calculator. Let's use our same values. Let's use zero to, actually, you know what? For this one, let's use zero, four, and six. Make our graph look, go a little bit wider. So use those values, pause it, plug them in, fill out your table, and see how you do. So if I have 0 for x, I'm going to plug in 0. 0 0.5 times 4. 0 0.5 times 6. Now, like I said, you can definitely use a calculator and do this multiplication in the calculator. Also, if we know if it's 0 0.5 is just 1 half, whenever you're multiplying by 1 half, you're just taking half of that number. 0 0.5 times 0 is just 0. 0 0.5 times 4, well, it's half of 4. It's 2. And 0 0.5 times 6 is half of 6, which is 3. So this gives me the ordered pair of 0, 0. x is 4, y is 2. x is 6, y is 3. So now I can plot those points. x is and y are 0, 0. x is 4, y is 2. So that's 2, 4, y is 2. x is 6. Y is 3, so that's 2, 4, 6. Y is 3 would be halfway up. The reason why it's halfway is because this is counting by 2s. This is 2, 4, so 3 would be right in between. That's going to make a straight line. It's not a curve, it's a straight line. So it is linear, and because it's a straight line that goes to the origin, it is also proportional. So this is a linear function. There's the rule. And it's a proportional relationship. Okay. That's all I got for you guys today. So this is your independent practice. Um, try it out. Do your best. You're plugging in these values for X here to figure out what your Y is. And then we're going backwards for this one. Okay. So do your best. See how you do. But you should try to get credit. That's all I got for you guys. Good day. out.